as you mentioned, Dominique, there have been thousands of people who have made their way down here to Southwest Houston today. We kick off our live team coverage tonight with Brandon Walker. And Brandon, you spoke to people who came here not just to grieve, but they wanted to start change. Good evening to you. Hey, good evening to you, Chris. Mothers, fathers, sons, daughters, people from all creeds, all backgrounds. They walked this path today. Now that line, as you mentioned, extends there to the side of the church. People making their way inside to say a final goodbye. People didn't know George Floyd, those in line, but they say they know his story because they've lived it. And that's why they say they're pushing for change. Among the thousands of footsteps of people from all walks. We need to keep pushing and keep pushing and keep pushing. It starts with us. Stood Darian Burns and Lanika McLean and Shadara Ugu and their friends here together at George Floyd's memorial with so much on their hearts. When I looked at him, I saw my brothers. I saw my boyfriend. I saw my future black son. So it was very just really sad and heartbreaking to see because that could be any one of us. McLean recently graduated college. She and thousands of Houstonians represent a new chapter in the movement for equal rights. Young adults who say George Floyd's story is their story. And it's been happening for entirely way too long and quite frankly I feel like my people, my black people are very tired of it. It's so important for all people to be together as a unit so we can actually make a change because as far as I'm seeing it, the same thing repeats itself. It hits the media, it goes wide and then it dies down. We don't need to let it die down. Be strong. Inside the Fountain of Praise Church, mourners paid their respects. No need to have known Floyd personally to feel, says Donald Kirkendall. It could have been me. It could have been anyone. But the significant is that the whole world is watching this, man, for the first time. I think there's going to be a really change about this. Change. A word we've heard a lot of late change being the reason why they marched and today why they walked down an aisle in a church to say goodbye. And I think that something that's done in a state like Texas, if other counties, other cities see Houston doing that police reform, then they might push to do police reform in their cities as well. And Mr. Ugu, they are responding to my question about the significance of Mr. Floyd being from Houston and what that means in terms of this national push for change, as you've heard so many mention over the past couple of weeks or so. And his point there was he's hoping that Houston continues to lead by example on this, as it always does, as he said. We're live here in southwest Houston. Chris, let's send things back to you on the other side of the church. Yeah. Brandon, thank you for that.